What's good, people? It's about that time to randomly relate reverse rants. No hate. So let me um react and respond also to some questions and comments that was made about AJ versus Wilder. And I was asked, do I feel any different about the decision? And I don't. Let me explain why. For me, it's a if it happens, it happens. Okay. Um do I care for the fight? No. Simply because this fight should have happened a long time ago. And the thrill is just gone for me. Now, in terms of the masses, okay, everybody, how they see this fight. It's still a yes and no for me for, for this reason. I would say no. Based on when I look at Wilder and I say Deontay Wilder is going to lose when he steps up and fight top level competition. He's simply not used to having someone really know what they're doing and come at him and know how to nullify what he's doing. And the fact that he was able to talk up Luis Ortiz and make people think Luis Ortiz was better than what he actually was. And people didn't just use their common sense. You look at him and realize this dude hasn't accomplished anything as a heavyweight. And the whole camouflage to that was, well, because he's the most avoided. He's the boogeyman. Nobody wants to fight him. Clearly, we know one guy who wanted to fight him was Anthony Joshua. And they sent a contract, sent the term sheets and a contract to him. He turned it down to fight Deontay Wilder. And this is when AJ was champion. Okay. So, that being said, the media, everybody that hyped that up to make it seem like that's the way it was. Let's, okay, well, regardless to what, Luis Ortiz wasn't used to fighting high-level competition either. Now, this all being said, all oh, the Cubans are tough fighters, and you know these guys are avoided and this, that, and so... Now, when he fights against Tyson Fury, you know, he held, he holds his own in terms of being able to drop Fury. Once again, Fury, also to me, in terms of this generation, he's one of the top heavyweights. I don't see him. I don't see Usyk. I don't see AJ, Wilder, Dubois, none of them. Like I see a Riddick Bowe, a Lennox Lewis, a Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield. I do not see them as those same type of guys. They're not the same as far as I'm concerned. People can say what they want. I like AJ as a fighter. You know, Usyk as a fighter. You know, um, I'm not crazy about Fury. Um, but Fury is good. But I, I, the thing that we're in, people forget we're in an era where this generation is going to lean toward the fighters of this generation over past generations. Just like with music, sport, basketball, football, anything. So with that being said... I say no, based on, once again, he steps up against Fury, you see what happens. Once Fury understands Wilder can't fight going backwards, and that basically even going forward, he's just the same wild, um, basically look land the same repetitive shots over and over. Well, once he figured that out, we saw how the second and third fights go. Now, all the claims he cheated and blah, 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 okay, whatever. So, basically, Wilder had a lot of hype around him as Fury being the only person that can beat him. Okay. Mind you, you go past Fury, I'm saying the same things. Wilder steps up, you're going to see him lose again. Plain and simple. He's just not what people are saying. But once again, fighters of this generation, which is why I say stop bringing Mike Tyson and everybody else into it because he can't touch those guys. None of these fighters will. None of them. When he fights against Joseph Parker, I went with Joseph Parker. Do you guys remember that? I went with Parker and I said, the only way Parker should lose this fight is if he just fights stupidly and get careless and just get hit with shots he shouldn't get caught with because Wilder is so repetitive, you can actually see what Wilder's going to throw. So I don't care the guys that he fought and knocked out and beat, okay, there was a certain level of guys that he can beat. Now when we start talking about the top level guys, if Wilder can't catch you and get you out of there, Wilder has nothing. We saw what happened. Everybody blamed Malik Scott. They blamed everybody else. Now he was winning with Mark Breland, but at the same time, he got beat by Fury and all this nonsense happened. Now, 
when he loses to when he loses to Joseph Parker, I say, look, as long as he fights top level guys, right, he's going to lose again, and he's going to lose again. He fights Zhang, he gets stopped in four rounds. Now, Anthony, jo and the thing is, Wilder was never used to fighting top level guys. So when he finally steps up, we saw what happened. Anthony Joshua, best resume in the heavyweight division now, and he was basically fighting top guys, and pretty much he didn't have as many professional. He, he did, he's not one that became 25 and 0, then started to. No, he was like 15, 16 and 0, or something like that when he finally when he got his first title. And so it's like all forward from there. And the thing is, you think the guy's only going to get better. And then it's like. After the Ruiz fight, we know what happened. So it's like AJ peaked and didn't get better. Now he has these this turnaround. Last two fights is like, damn, AJ's back. So everybody's expecting him to be in top form. He gets it. He understands it. And guess what? We'll see what happens from there. But like I always say, it's a fight-by-fight -fight basis. And I'll say this guy should beat this guy, but we never know. Right? Plain and simple. So for AJ... People are just unsure. Now, for me, it's did Dubois just destroy AJ because he's just better than AJ? Or did he destroy AJ, one, because AJ came in and fought poorly like he did? And Dubois did what he was supposed to? Are these mistakes the things that AJ came in and fought so amateur like and just, it, it's like, what a mess of a fight on his behalf? No matter, he tried. And, and, you know, he, he tried to knock Dubois out. He came after him at times, he, you know, and, and whatever. He got overzealous, and we know what happened. Now, can he correct those mistakes? This is where we at with AJ. Everybody, the majority of people already made their mind up that Wilder's washed up. I said to me, the same Wilder I seen in there with Joseph Parker, the same Wilder I seen in there with Zane, this is the same Wilder who is just now in there with better competition. If you guys think Wilder is already ready for, to retire, and this is what people are saying, yo, hang it up. It's time to hang it up. It's time to go. Okay? I got to see AJ fight and avenge his loss to Dubai or fight somebody else, another top-level guy. And let, let's We need to just see because he lose to another, another top-level guy, especially if he gets destroyed, then guess what? Then I'm telling you, yeah, it's probably time for him to hang it up because at the end of the day, Here's the deal. Now, and I say probably is because they're going to do what they want to do anyway. But what I'm saying, what reason I'm saying that is because AJ could just be on the decline now. Where it's like, you know what, man? I'm rich as fuck. My motivation is not what it was. I want to fight, but I'm just not able to put it out now. Who knows? Based on his last two fights before Dubois, nobody would have a reason to think that because he shut up the critics and silenced the critics to let them know, hey, I'm still here. So I don't know where AJ is right now. So we have to, for me, I need to see what he looks like. And this is why I'm saying, I hear like Bob Arum saying, AJ um, um, should retire. He said Wilder should retire. He said they both should fight each other, right? Zele Zhang says he doesn't think AJ should retire. He thinks he should just take some time off. He thinks going back against Dubois would, 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 would work against him. He just needs to rest his mind. Okay. Everybody can have their opinion, and that's fine. I personally don't think him taking time off and staying away from Dubois is going to is going to help. Now, if his mind is right, physically he's right, he understands the assignment, then this is my point. We'll have to see if it's still in him to go in there and fight the way he's supposed to. Did he just have a night where he fought stupidly and paid for it? This is what I'm saying. Can he correct that wrong? I don't know that yet. And until I see him, Go in there and fight against Dubois in a rematch. Because, look, like I said before, what if he goes in there? Let's say Warren and Fury has heart now to fight AJ. Because now all of a sudden Fury went from saying he's not fighting AJ. Remember, Usyk beat him twice. I beat Wilder. Now all of a sudden, oh, yeah, we can fight. Oh, now, yeah. Because at the end of the day, he went from... So that goes to show you the whole time that, that, that Fury was saying that nonsense is because... He didn't feel comfortable that he can beat Anthony Joshua. 
So to make the excuse that he's not ready for big time boxing, but somehow Ngannou was, right? Well, if if him all of a sudden now, well, he, he makes his mind up that, yeah, you know, me and AJ can still fight. It's because he's seen AJ and go, nah, okay, I think he's done. Now, first off, he needs to get past Usyk before he even get through all of that. Now, this is the way I see it, okay? Well, I say yes, or well, as far as me saying yes, I say no because I still feel like AJ is in the position of, all right, it depends on what he does next and how he looks next. And it has to be, to me, against Dubois or a Usyk or a Fury, not 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 someone else. Now, if it is against someone else and he gets beat, like if he's to get beat by F.A. Jogba or Sanchez or any of them, I say, nah, he's done. Why? Because they, Sanchez, to me, boxing skill-wise, is a threat. We saw what happened in his last fight against Cabriel. So this is what I'm saying. I need to see what A.J. looks like in another fight. But it has to be against a top-level guy. And he needs to win. If he lose, then it's like, okay. Especially if he gets beat badly. Like, no. Because it just gets to a point where a fighter is done. No matter how much you want to see them win, they're just done. I don't know if that's the case for AJ right now. But Because, like, what, what I'm saying, what if, how he look, how, how he look against Dubois? Now, what if Frank Warren and Fury feel like, oh, we got him right where we want him? All of a sudden, he beats Fury. You understand what I mean? But let's say, for example, Usyk beats Fury, right? AJ fights Fury, and then it's like, well, Usyk already beat him twice. What they're going to say? Well, Fury was washed up already. But at the same time, well, in fairness, AJ got destroyed by Dubois. You understand what I mean? Now, as far as him fighting Wilder or fighting Fury, I say yes with Wilder for this reason, this reason only. If it's about a send-off, you know, I want to go out and I want to be able to say I fought all the guys of my era. Yeah. But this is a send-off. If you think AJ should retire now and you think Wilder should retire now, how does any one of them beating each other put them in a title um, uh, um, shot or uh, um, picture. It doesn't. It's just a fight. It's like Amir Khan versus Brooke. By the time they fought, who cared? Other than, see, the British fans got a treat to say, okay, this is a fight we wanted for the longest time and it never happened. We got it. Boxing fans in general, overall, nobody really cared. You understand what I mean? It was just like, okay, whatever. So what happened, happened. Now, imagine if Mike Tyson and Holyfield would have fought after Mike Tyson fought like Danny Williams and when Holyfield, uh, you know, and the thing, with, well, the thing with Holyfield is he was fighting injured too as well. And he actually kind of revived himself and got up and started winning fights again. And all of a sudden he ended up in a fight with the, the big Russian dude. Um, and they robbed Holyfield because he actually won that fight. Like he definitely won that fight. Um, Nikolai Voluev. But you see, then nobody would have really cared. It was like if the first time Bernard Hopkins and Roy Jones fought was the second fight instead of, you know, because when they fought the first time, neither one of them was as popular as they was going to become. But they fought when it mattered the most. So the, the second fight, who cared about it? So this is what I'm saying. So for AJ and for Wilder, it's more like it's just the, you know, two guys from the same era to go at it. Now, it's more of a bragging rights thing for them and for the fans of each fighter. But who really cares? You understand what I mean? Because at this point, it's like, okay, so yes, as a send-off fight. And if Fury loses to Usyk, and then he and AJ still fight, that's a fight that's pretty much going to take place on British soil. Maybe it might happen, you know, over in Saudi. Who knows? But for Anthony Joshua, and this is not about protecting him from a loss or protecting Wilder from a loss. The point, what I'm saying is if you've made it up in your minds, think about what you're saying, right? If you think that both guys are washed up and finished, yeah, okay. As a send-off fight for either one, yeah. If 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 Wild, if if AJ, let's say he beats Wilder and he wants to stick around and wait the fight, I don't think he should get the shot over Daniel Dubois because Dubois beat him. But let's say he decides, okay, if Fury loses and he fights Fury, right? Okay. I just beat the same guy you beat in Wilder, now me and you. Now, if he beats Fury, it may become a thing where, okay, yeah, AJ's still here. Now, if he was to lose to Wilder, who the hell wants to see him fight Fury now? Do you understand what I mean? So, 
it would be the thing of, well, we're turning a negative into a positive to catapult back to a position that we want to be in. But you don't get those positions over someone that beat you without politics. You see what I'm saying? And that's not what we want to see. I don't want to see AJ just, oh, desperately, let's let's screw Dubois over. Let's screw over Joseph Parker or the fighters that's winning. No, that's not what I want to see. So that's what I'm saying. For me, no, it, it, I'm not intrigued by the fight. I just feel like you have to earn your keep. And I need to see what AJ looks like in a rematch with Dubois. And I need to, or, or with another top level guy. Now, if the rematch is there, take it. If you don't take it and you go fight, because what's going to happen? What, what, what purpose does it, sense does it make? If the Dubois rematch is on the table and he doesn't take it to go fight somebody else, then what? What if Dubois go fight somebody else and then Dubois gets knocked out? You understand what I'm saying? Now, do you really care so much about the AJ Dubois rematch? No, it's more prestigious when there's a lot on the line. So, yes, man. He needs to take that chance, get his head right. Boom, I'm back in the gym. I'm ready. Let's go. Now, he fights Dubois. He wins. He's right back in the saddle. He loses. Even if it's a tough fight, but he loses, then it, 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 it depends on how things go. You know, it depends. Well, this is what I need to see. Is he finished? Or is it that he just got his ass whooped for fighting stupidly? And Dubois was like, nah, you're not going to beat me tonight. Not fighting like that. That's where I'm at with it. So, no. No. And I don't care about the AJ Wilder fight, personally. It just got to that point. You're like, I don't care to see Wilder fight AJ for um, um, Fury for a fourth time. But you still got Wilder fans going, yeah, maybe he can beat him now because of the way, because he lost to Usyk. You know, um, and you see how boxing minds are. Wilder got destroyed last time we saw him. And that's two back-to-back -back losses. Now you got Wilder fans all of a sudden talking like he won his last two fights or something. Like, Wilder would have did this to AJ. Okay, if, if and if Wilder would have fought AJ the way he fought Zhang, AJ would have twisted his cap off. So what does it matter? You understand? We don't we don't predetermine fights and say he would have beat him, so we don't care. Let's go next fight. I'm saying I just have no interest in AJ versus Wilder. But if it happens, it happens. Neither guy beating the other does anything. If either guy is already on the damn uh, 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 um, on the shelf of being washed up, so I don't understand what the interest would be. Now, if you maybe if they win, they you know for, just for namesake. Well, is that what boxing needs? Is that's what we want to see the Saudis doing? Because we get enough of that already without them, and they had a different vision, right? No, so we don't want to take losers from fights. And then, when I'm not talking about somebody who just lose a tough fight, but a fighter who's considered washed up. Why would we want to see that? No. So that's where I'm at with that. I need to see what AJ looks like next. And basically, whatever Wilder decides to do, whoever he fights, what does he look like? And we know Wilder don't want to stick around too much longer. Anthony Joshua, as far as him being in title fights to become a three-time champion, and he has his plans. But again, he needs to earn his spot the same exact way. So my stance on that is the same. Talk to me in the comment section. Never fall in love with lies. Remember the truth brings hate other people. And I will catch y'all on the next video.